Good day, my friends. This is Emperor Jackson, Senior Pastor of First United Methodist Church here in Tupelo, Mississippi. We continue our devotion series on the meaning of the cross of Christ. This being the third day of our devotion series, I'd like to read from the Gospel of Luke, the 14th chapter, verse 27. Luke 14, 27. Hear now these very powerful words. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Hear now again these words from Jesus Christ. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. We say that we are followers of Jesus Christ. So often in the church we say that we are Christians. We are named after Jesus Christ, the Son of God. But so often when it comes to carrying our crosses, we find ourselves lacking. Very, very, very few people want to uplift their crosses and follow Jesus. Very few people want to follow Jesus because in following Jesus, Jesus is reminding us today in this reading from Luke, the 14th chapter in the 27th verse, if we are going to follow Jesus, we're going to have to pick up our crosses and follow him. A cross is an emblem of shame. A cross is a place where criminals were hung. Nails were placed in their feet and hands and they were hung on a cross until they died. The blood would gush up in their lungs and they could not breathe and they would soon die. Think about that. The pain, the suffering, the humiliation that we've already discussed this week. Jesus Christ went through it all, not just for a few people, but for everybody. But now Jesus is calling us to pick up our crosses and follow him. And that's why I believe this wall behind me is so important. The crosses are in various sizes and shapes and they're different types. But it reminds us that we all have been called by God to pick up our crosses, to put them on our backs as Jesus did, and to follow him. To follow Jesus means that we also will be humiliated. We also will be rejected by the world. We also will be embarrassed and shamed because of what we're doing. But I remind us all that if we follow the example in Christ in all that we do, Jesus Christ shall love us, protect us, and most of all will bless us. Therefore, on this day, let us pick up our crosses, not being ashamed. Let us pick up our crosses, not being embarrassed, let us pick up our crosses and let us be determined to follow Jesus Christ in all that we do. This I ask now in the name of the Father, Son, and through thy Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, and amen.